It's an ad yeah. here. <laughs> Trying to find joy in the journey. Welcome to my channel. It's pretty early in the morning and uh, I'm up with Josh. This is my morning with him. Um, me and my husband takes, we take turns. So, uh, he's had his medicine. He's had breakfast. So we're just in here watching uh, cartoons. I did my morning inspection. And I I did the walkthrough of the Joy Garden. I do that every day. And there's a lot of little things that I saw that needed to be taken care of. Just small stuff. Uh, a lot of pruning of leaves that were yellow and... Yeah. Um, yeah. Things that needed to be addressed, but I um, yeah. I got my little fern here. And we're watching Curious George. Uh -huh. I just don't want to take him out there with me this early. I mean, he's welcome no. to come out there later on, but it's early in the morning. There's, there's nothing for him to do out there mm -hmm. now. He doesn't understand that he wants to go now. So if I go out there, he's gonna want to come with me and he can't. So I'm just trying to sit here. And my mind is on the things that need to be done out there. Later on this afternoon, I have a doctor's appointment with my mother. So, um, and that has to be uh, done. Um, so yeah, yeah. That's going to yeah. uh, take up a good part of my day. Yeah. And that's okay. Uh -huh. But um, hey, I wish me. I could get out there and do what I need to do. Especially while it's still cool. It's been really uh -huh. hot. And it's going to be a really hot week. I'm talking mid-90s. Like 95, 96. No joke. And we're yeah. just starting it. Yeah. This is only what the second mm -hmm. week of June. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, mm. this is gonna be a really hot season. Um. So, me and old Josh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was too cute. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna sign off now. You yeah. guys have a great day. Bye now. Good morning, everyone. I decided to hop back on real quick because I wanted to add something to the video. It's and it's it's a positive thing. I just uh, noticed uh, something about myself lately. I notice how even when things are stressful, uh, when I feel overwhelmed. The way I handle things is so much different from, uh, from years ago. Um, I, I know I, lately I've been pacing myself because life, it is what it is. And there's so much going on and there's so many moving parts. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, and there's so many things that I'm responsible for. I'm responsible for my son. I'm also responsible for my mother. My mother is uh, 88 years old. She is in a nursing home. We could no longer take care of her at her at her home, so she had to go to a skilled nursing facility, a nursing home. Um, and as I stated earlier in the video, I have a, an appointment with her today. Uh, so. Um, when she has to go to doctor's appointments outside of the nursing home. And I am her, uh, I have power of attorney, I have durable medical power of attorney, and I help with her decision making and uh, help navigate her, her uh, care and, and things like that. So uh, that's one of my responsibilities. So uh, you can get overwhelmed in life with all these different things. And I, I, trust me, I know there's people who are going through a lot more than what I'm going through. Um, but 
you know, everybody has their own situation. Everybody has their own journey. And I'm learning to navigate this journey. Um, I actually feel sometimes that uh, the way I handle things, the way I try not to get too stressed out or upset, I may handle certain situations with a smile that actually gets on people's nerves. Can you believe that? Isn't it weird? Especially when it comes to my son. I have other family members that, uh, and I'm not gonna say who, but they get upset when Josh does certain things, but I choose to uh, handle it differently or calmly. It's for my own self-preservation. <laughs> it's for my own sanity. That's why I handle it calmly. It's not that what he's doing is not irritating me. It's not that what he's doing is not upsetting, but I choose to handle it in a different way. And uh, that, so it, it just, it just it's baffles me that some people look at it like I'm downplaying it. I'm not downplaying it. I'm processing it because I still have to handle the situation. I still have to walk this journey and I still have to live it, go through the motions of it. So me freaking out or having a tantrum or getting upset over it is not going to help and especially is not healthy for me. I have to remain in a calm state of mind. It's not saying that I do not get upset or aggravated or irritated overwhelmed however you want to say it it's just that I choose to handle it differently and um, so I just wanted to say that uh, I'm thankful that I've learned throughout the years I am thankful to God for for giving me a certain disposition and ability uh, to uh, just handle things in a certain way I feel it's a gift, um, and it's definitely necessary. I'm, I'm thankful that I am Joshua's parent. I'm thankful for the family that God has put him in because you really need patience. You need patience. Um, and uh, so I just wanted to share that. So I'm just I just wanted to add that. I think it's important uh, that you pace yourself when you're overwhelmed and you have a lot of responsibilities or there's so much going on in life uh, to pace yourself take it one step at a time and remember this if you're going through it there's going to be if you keep going through at the end you know there's light at the end of the tunnel and also if you keep moving keep going through pace yourself Finally, it's going to come to uh, uh, a certain end, you know, hopefully favorable. If I hope I'm making sense, but it's just, if you pace yourself, one thing I'd like to say, you're doing better than you think you are. It may look like a mess, but you are doing better than you think you are. I see my little friend's trying to get out the door now. <laughs> He's following me outside. But you are doing better. Everything looks, may look like a chaotic mess. But I have to say to myself, a little at a time, pace yourself, and I am doing better than I think I am. If you take, back, stick, take a step back and look, you'll see. You know, there's more behind you than there is in front of you. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. I just wanted to add that. This might even be a separate video. So I just wanted to share that with you. I hope it's helpful to someone. Just remember that patience help. And also, even though it looks like a mess, you are doing better than you think you are. Yes. Bye now.